Courtney. I'm coming to you on Wednesday morning and the footage that I'm going to show you today um, basically happened. So the first part of today's vlog happened yesterday and I recorded an intro for that, but it got deleted and I can't get it back. So basically I poured out all of my yarn onto my bed. And if you wanna see footage of that, you can look at my YouTube short where I'm like pouring yarn out onto my bed. It's like very like chill actually because of the music that I put with it. But um, it was a little bit overwhelming for me. And I basically organized it into boxes and you were not supposed to see that because of how overwhelmed I was. But I did show you guys the boxes of yarn after I organized them. So that is coming up next and I hope you guys enjoy. Box one is primarily fingering weight yarns of a hand dyed nature, although I do have some of the squishy DK, although um, it's like uh, from, um, it, it's like cashmere silk from Lan Amore. Lan Amore. I'm sorry. I I do speak a little bit of French, but it's not happening this morning. It's um this company right here. There you go. Oh, there's a hair right there. Eh, sorry. Sure. Okay. So yeah, it's from this company right here. And uh, that's my DK weight that I have in here. Um, I also have some DK scraps like here, here, here. <laughs> um, yep, yeah. I also have some DK scraps. Uh, but most of the yarn in this box is hand dyed yarn of a fingering weight variety. Additionally, thankfully, like a lot of them kind of have um, a similar dye lot uh, to some of each other or like a similar, similar um, theme. Um, so for example, I have like a pastel rainbow set in here from, um, from the Lemonade Shop yarns. And there's only one of those colors that I've used. Um, I would say, yeah, like the rest of it, I haven't even touched other than maybe to make like a tiny swatch for something, so. Okay guys, up on top of this box, this is actually yarn that I picked up for the Jungle Doodle Cowl. It hasn't been released yet. Um, I was hoping to get the test knit, but I did not. Um, so sad. So now I'm waiting for April for the pattern release. And um, these are some colors that um, I thought I could use. Granted, they are in a fingering weight, but I figured I could just add on a couple extra pattern repeats and would be all good. All right, here it's kind of a hodgepodge of things. And this is my, um, and this box is gonna be a worsted weight wool, okay? I'm not gonna crack open these boxes. I'm kind of tired of having looked at them today. But yeah, hodgepodge, fingering weight wool. And I will say, although this is a hodgepodge, it's like organized, okay? Like, all right, you know, like the Lola Bean Yarn Company colorways, like the skeins that go together, they're all in there. All the Christmas themed yarn, all in there. All the mohair all in there got a little scrap right down there of some acrylic yarn all good got some jewelry making supplies and yeah yep 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 i've got some um broco comfort dk over here in this corner and let's see what's on the other corner Oh yeah, I've got some acrylic yarn from a uh, Hobie and also some pom poms. And I now I have like some fingering weight, um, some fingering weight acrylic blends, like nylon blends in here in this box as well. One of the things I wanted to do when I was organizing my stash this morning was organize um, it into some like kits for like doodles and things coming up. So let me show you what I've got. I already showed you my jungle doodle cowl. 
that um, kind of doesn't count because it's not something I did today. It's something that I've had planned for a couple weeks. And let me show you what I put together today. I put together this yarn for the floral doodle cowl. And I put together this for maybe a fingering weight floral doodle. I honestly, I don't know. There's so many beautiful options that I could use with these. Um, I kind of liked the way they look together and I thought I could put it in together as a kit. This is yarn that I took out thinking I might make the um, Cinderella doll by Esther Braithwaite. And I might do that at the same time, I feel like these yarns together are just like really lovely. So maybe I could make like a cool Cinderella themed um, something or other. There you have it. One more time for all three of the boxes stacked up together with the Jungle Doodle kit that I um, put together on top. Um, I have another box uh, just to the right over here that's almost completely empty. And I think I'm going to put my kits into plastic bags and put the kits in it. Hey guys, it's Courtney. It's a little after 8 a.m. on a Wednesday morning. Um, now yesterday I showed me pour all the yarn onto my bed and my YouTube short basically. And then in this uh, vlog, I was uh, organizing it or I showed you like the result after I organized it. Um, at this point, I don't really even know <laughs> what I did in that video. Honestly, the act of pouring all of my yarn onto the bed was like so uh, disorienting, I guess, but I'm glad that I have it organized. Um, I showed you, I think, the system of these three boxes yesterday. What I didn't get to show you was this one. This one was the box that was mostly empty, except a couple of my daughter's things that she had in here that um, we haven't really gotten to use yet. So I just kind of, I pushed her stuff um, to the side of this box and I was able to fit my um, doodle kits that I made. So I want to show you like I get like I kind of showed you like a little bit yesterday where I thought like the doodle kits were going and for the most part I think what you saw is like pretty accurate but I want to show you how I ended up packaging everything and organizing it. So um I kind of put all my books on top of this box. I know I need to like I mean I don't have like a lot of books with me so it would help maybe to have a bookshelf, but like, come on, like we just moved. It's not a priority right now. Um, have this one, Knitted Gifts by, oh, Last Minute Knitted Gifts by Joelle Hoverson. I believe this one's the, um, is it Pearl Soho? Yeah, I'm just, um, yeah, okay, all right. Yep, yep, yep. Um, and this one's Wanderlust. It's, um, a bunch of different patterns put together by Tannis Gray. I will say when I looked through this book this year, after not having looked through it for a little while, I was really excited by like some of the garment patterns that are in the back. I was like, yeah, because if you saw like one of my earlier videos um, that I made in January, I was talking about how I want to make more intentionally this year. And that includes making more garments because let's face it, um, I'm not going to be able to wear cowls like in the summer. So I need to start like socks or garments or something else that can better fit into my wardrobe. Also, I mean, yeah. Yep. Okay. Sock yarn. Um, One Skein Wonders by, edited by Judith Durant. Again, this is like a compilation of patterns. This was like one of the very first pattern books that I actually checked it out of the library um, in like late summer, um, the year that I started back really strong, getting back into the knit. These are all my fandom books. Now I love these. I've got Harry Potter. 
edited by Tannis Gray. I've got Knitting with Disney, also edited by Tannis Gray. And I've got Star Wars Knitting the Galaxy. Thank you, Pops and Mimi, for gifting me that for my birthday <laughs> in 2021. Really appreciate that. Um, all right, so let's get into the yarn kits that I made yesterday. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, let me show you what I've got and the magic, just letting the magic settle down in there. Okay, 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 okay. So excited. First one that I'm going to show you. Um, I wrote on here ocean or arctic doodle, but this is going to be the ocean one. And basically what this is, is, um, ooh, I'm so excited. I love this so much. Oh, okay. Um, this is the seashore of uh, colorways. Um, so basically the color of this party of five pack by Sweet Georgia Yarns, like the theme is called seashore. And each of these yarns have colorways as well. Um, it's on their base Tough Love Sock. You get 105 yards and a 28 gram skein. It's an 80-20 blend. Uh, for those of you that aren't familiar, it means it's this yarn is made of 80% superwash merino wool, which is like a pretty common um, wool to use as sock yarn and 20% nylon, which is again also like most of our sock yarns are gonna have that super wash merino nylon blend, um, but not all, you know, so don't, yeah. <laughs> not every um, sock yarn will have that, but um, I think like like a standard fingering weight hand dyed sock yarn is gonna be your 75-25 uh, blend or your 80-20 blend. Now the more, um, the more nylon in it, like the tougher it's gonna be. Um, and I kind of like, sometimes I get that confused when I just look at the numbers. I'm like, oh yeah, 80, 20, like that's higher, right? <laughs> okay, <laughs> sorry, I'm getting, I'm getting, a, I'm getting a, on a, okay, on an aside. Is that the right like phrase for it? Anyways, here we go. Um, okay, five colors in this party of five, um, mini skein pack by Sweet Georgia Yarns. Um, birch, apricot, west wind, shoreline, and beach house. So again, kind of a beachy theme. It's gotta be the ocean doodle. I originally bought this pack. Um, don't laugh. Like, I thought it was DK. I thought that I was getting a DK yarn. Like, why? I think it was probably late. It was probably late at night when I ordered this. Um, from Eat Sleep Knit, and then it came in and it wasn't DK. Oh well. <laughs> um, yeah, so I wasn't, I was gonna use it on my um, baking doodle cowl, but I wasn't able to. I figured I might save it and use it on the Arctic doodle, but now I'm gonna use it on the beach doodle. Okay. And I am wearing my baking doodle today. Yay. I just love this so much. Ah. Got the piping hearts, the spatula, mixing bowls, oven mitt, and um, icing piping designs. And I really, yeah. I love the way the colors work together, especially at the top. All right. The next one. This I decided is going to be a Cinderella themed doodle kit. Um, I love Fangirl Fibers. I saw that she had a um, doodle kit that was like a Disney themed uh, maybe a month ago. And she had like a red and black and white option. And then she had like more of this color story going on for people who didn't want that. And um, if you're like me, inflation is like really just like mind boggling right now. So um, yeah, unfortunately I'm not able to make like these huge purchases for um, doodle kits and stuff. Um, so I'm, yeah, anyways, that's kind of the theme of this, like putting together yarn packs from like these boxes, okay? so. Um, I'm thankful that, you know, 
and they both just to do that, to work from stash. Um, anyways, it's a huge blessing. And I don't have a doodle in mind for these yet. Again, Cinderella themed doodle pack. Um, honestly, I'm kind of hoping, kind of hoping that Jamie comes with a Disney themed doodle and then this will be perfect for that. So I might just kind of like keep it on reserve throughout the year and see. And maybe if it doesn't happen by the end of the year, I'll use it for something else. And then watch like in January of 2025, she would release them and be like, oh, I just used my Cinderella Diva pack. It's okay. All right, this is the only DK weight pack that I have. I don't have a lot of DK in my stash. This is actually almost all the DK in my stash except for what I showed you yesterday. Like that's the rest of it. Like two skeins from France, from Lan Amore. Lan Amore. Like I can't, again, it's early in the morning. I can't with the French, unfortunately. Um, but they, uh, they have a really nice like silk cashmere blend too. So I think it's like actually like baby alpaca silk and cashmere. Anyways, I have some of those, like, yeah. Um, anyways, this is going to be like the majority outside of those two skeins and like a few scraps of, this is like all the DK weight yarn that I have other than that. Um, so yeah, I made a nice little floral doodle bundle here. I think I'm going to use this as my main color. And then like then the yellows that I have, these are left over from the Pineapple Yarn Company 2022 Pineapple Coast Advent. And I was reading through Marina's like goodbye post yesterday and I was like, oh, I know because she's no longer dying, unfortunately, but I love Marina's colorways. Um, mm, just perfection. So that's our floral doodle DK kit. Whoa, everything just fell. Sorry. All right, <laughs> I'm back. And um, speaking of floral doodles, um, I also have this one. I know I showed this to you yesterday. I think it is just gonna be a floral fingering weight doodle set. And last but not least, um, this is actually the doodle I put together first. I showed you this one yesterday as well. This is for the Jungle Doodle that's going to be released in early April. So as you see, I've gone a bit like, I've gone a bit um, like, what's the word? Like hyper, like it's not, I don't know. It's not coming to me the, the word that I want for this, but um, I've definitely gotten into the doodles. <laughs> And yeah, I just, I, I can't stop. Like I don't want to knit anything from just like a straight up pattern right now. And I know I'm going to have to get into garments, um, eventually. So, <laughs> well, thanks for being on this journey with me. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Um, Maybe I will be able to put the doodles away, like, once I'm done with what I have planned and maybe I'll be in, like, a better space to, like, start on garments or socks then because, again, that's what you really want, like, after, you know, during spring, um, slash after spring to, like, prepare for summer where we're not going to be wearing, like, our hats and our mittens and our gloves and our cowls and our scarves. And our, yeah, even our shawls. Maybe shawls in the summer. Maybe a summer, salt, a summer shawl. If you have a good pattern for a summer shawl, please let me know what works best for you. You can drop it in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Um, I think I'm going to show you one more little video or like one more little clip of how I have these yarns put away. And...